We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors. I, uh, a little bit overdue for this review. I thought I'd recorded an intro previously um, before I did the unboxing, but uh, yeah, I didn't. So we're just going to take a quick look at the box and then we're going to take a look at the figures. So there's the Phase 2 Clone Trooper Battle Pack or Army Builder Pack. Comes with two plain white clones. Comes with one 501st and one 332nd. Basically the four you see along the front there. Um, each with two weapons. You know, they just come in paper bags inside the box. You got the Vintage Collection logo there. Got all the warnings and where not to put your fingers. Different pieces, 501st Legion Trooper on the side. And then a picture of the four. Four characters you're getting in the box. So let's take a look at the figures. All right, here they are. And I've brought my friend Lazy Susan in to help spin these around. I'm sure I'm where I'm going to use this for future reviews. But for this one, I thought it would work. Now, for this clone trooper we've got here, this is pretty much, or it is exactly the same figure we got with the Andor Phase 2, except this time it's good. And the Phase 1 clone, which was definitely an improvement over this one, um... The issue I had with this one, and I will put a link to my review in this one, is that they just didn't get the uh, the visor straight on many samples of it. Uh, the rest of the figure, fantastic removable helmet, which is something that's never really bothered me too much. I mean, it's always been it's always a nice bonus, but it shouldn't be at the expense of the helmet. Um, it's you know sculpt wise, it's fine. Just the paint applications. Just I haven't seen many good copies of this and or phase two. So, for the most part, all these figures are based off of that mould, but we've got some fresh looking figures here. Now, I've used the, uh, I've used our Kessel Run stands. These are 3D printed. They've got three different peg sizes and a detachable arch there. You can peg into the top just for some extra support for those bigger figures, uh, Black Series mainly. But uh, yeah, three different peg sizes. So yeah, I just wanted to show off their balancing skills because I've got a couple of these guys. You know, they're just posed on one foot. They hold strong, good counterbalance. You've know, got one just sort of posed up. Now each each one of these figures does come with one long rifle and one short rifle. You'll see the next two troopers holding the shorter ones. So. You can intermix and match and choose the way you want. It's a 332nd. And then around to the uh, 501st, who's, who's running pretty hard there. So we'll come back to the first one. We'll skip past the running boy. We'll get a look at this, this one a bit closer. As you can see, the helmet, you know, it's not a removable helmet. This is a separate... Separate piece, which for me is an absolute win. Because I don't know that all clones need removable helmets. So, I was very, very impressed with this one upon opening it. It means the paint applications are nice and clean. For the most part, you're always going to have some imperfections. You know, they're, they're factory mass-produced. You're always going to have the odd one that, you know, just, just misses misses the mark by just a fraction. But given that they're sort of a little bit more solid as opposed to the, you know, slightly more rubber helmeted ones. It's, a, um, it's probably a little bit more accurate for the printers to pick up. But yeah, as for the rest of the paint applications, it's... It, it it's it's white. <laughs> There's not really a lot else going on. It's it's white. It has all the the current articulation. I will go through that. We'll just take a look at each of them. I'm not going to show you both of the the plain whites because it's uh it's pointless. But we do have obviously they're pegged on there pretty nicely. That ain't going anywhere.
So let's go around to the 332nd and we'll take a look. The paint applications on this one. Now I don't have the other 332nd to compare to because I pretty much gave myself a blanket rule of those phase two clones with the removable helmets. I got a couple back in the day, back in the vintage collection part one. So the 2010 through to 2012, 13. And they did do a few clones um, using that phase one sculpt and then putting phase two helmets on there. And I just decided I didn't like it. The only exception I did have was uh, Hauser. But didn't get any of the others, so I don't have the other one to compare to. But this one is far nicer. I'd love to see this one come out on its own card. And uh, yeah, I'll certainly add some more to the collection if that was the case. You can see you got the the rest of the armor is basically five hundred and first because that's basically what happened. That division was was split up. The five hundred first was separated, was split up into the five hundred first and the three thirty second. 332nd went with Ahsoka to the Siege of Mandalore, while the 501st went back to Coruscant with Anakin. Yeah, some nice, nice clean markings. You know, they're battle, battle scuffed. Nice sort of dark blue up there on the pauldron, really nice blue actually. Quickly get Captain Rex to stand in here as well. He sort of matches in nicely with with these ones, particularly these two. So same blue all throughout. If you stick around to the end, I'll, I'll link my video to the old phase, the phase two, the the Andor one, and Captain Rex. And yeah, the 501st, obviously the same body as the 332nd, just with that with that head, that helmet. A bit of blue paint on the back. Now, did the 332nd, he didn't have that. Honestly, don't think I'd ever noticed that the uh, 501st had that back. Colored it in. Rex doesn't. This guy does. for the most part they are the same and you know what I'm going to stand Rex in the middle there with these guys because I think most of these I think these clones are going to end up at least these two are going to end up with my Siege of Mandalore figures and I think these two white clones are going to go to my Revenge of the Sith shelf it's deserving of some some good quality phase two clones. So this is where we're going to go through the articulation. He's got the ball jointed head. The double barbell in there. No, it's, yes it was. Let's have a look again. Yeah, so you've got the ball, ball socket in the head. Ball socket in the neck. Ball hinges in the shoulders. Ball hinges in the elbows. Swivel in the wrist. And a ball hinge, up and down ball hinge on the right hand. And an in and out ball hinge on the right, uh, left. We have the upper torso joint there. If we focus on it, come on, stop trying to look at the others. I know they're prettier. Yeah, a bit of a joint there, which is good. Got the, uh, the barbell thighs there, which is nice. They seem to be doing quite well for for Star Wars, which is very nice to see. Bit of swivel at the upper thigh, tucked into the armor there, which is nice. We have a hinge in the knee, which gets a nice nice angle on it. We have a ball hinge in the ankle as well, and then the rocker joint in the foot. So we've got a crew of pretty nice clones. Would love to see 
Captain Vaughan added to the crew. Yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think. I've had these guys for a couple of weeks. They just, they've been floating around the shelf. And I thought, no. Nah, I'm finally getting these guys up. And yeah, do look good with Rex in the middle there. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give the video a thumbs up if you did. If you're new to new to my channel, please subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again very soon. Till then, may the force be with you always.